This is AB Calculus homework after note card 12, normal tangent lines without a calculator. This homework assignment, I've assigned problems one through four, and I'm going to do in this set problems one and three. As this and all my video lessons, what I recommend doing is working out the problem first and then following along to see if you got it right or perhaps even to correct me should I get one of these or problems wrong. It happens. Okay, let's look at uh, this set for questions one through three. Find the equation line tangent and normal to the graph of f that is passing through the given value or given point. And so for an equation of a tangent line and a normal line, two things are needed. And I recommend to my students to just go ahead and write them up here. The first thing to look for is a point. In this case, we're already given the point, which is negative 3, 4, and also the slope. And in this case, we want a tangent line and a normal line. So a tangent line we're going to call n sub t for tangent line and n sub n and find out what they are. And once we have that, we'll be able to get finished problem one. So they already tell us the point is negative 3 comma 4. And I hope you can see that if you plug in uh, negative 3 for x squared, you get 9. And uh, negative 3 times 2 would be 6. So 9 minus 6 plus 1 is 4. So that would, that would check out this to be the point. And to find the slope, we would take the first derivative. So we'd rewrite this as f prime of x is equal to 2x plus 2. And at this point 3 comma 4, we're going to substitute in uh, negative 3. Set this at 3 comma 4. I'm going to put say negative 3 comma 4. So 2 times negative 3 plus 2. So that's going to be negative 6 plus 2, which equals negative 4. So m sub t is going to be negative 4. Now the, the normal line, the slope of the normal line, is the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line. So we're going to say, instead of negative 4 over 1, we're going to say 1 over 4 negative reciprocal, so that would be the slope of the normal line. <clears throat> and now just to write the equation, and the equation that I hope all of you are familiar with is the point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And we have x1 is this negative 3, y1 is 4. So for our tangent line, we're going to have y minus 4 equals negative 4 times x minus negative 3, so we'll say plus 3. So this will be our uh, tangent line. Equation. And then a normal line equation, I'm going to write right below it. We're going to say y minus 4. So our normal line equation is going to be the same as the tangent line equation in every respect except for the slope. So instead of writing negative 4, we put 1 fourth quantity x plus 3. And so that would be a normal line. Uh, number two, when you get to it, similar problem. You have a <clears throat> fractional power, which is going to be something to deal with in differentiation. And also, you're going to have to find your point. I'm going to work on this video. Also, number three. 
And here we have f of x equals x plus 1 over x passing through x equals 1. Same procedure. I'm going to go up here and get our point. And we know that our x value is going to be 1. And what is our y value? I'm going to just write this up here. f of 1 is going to be 1 plus 1 over 1, which equals 2. And so our point is 1 comma 2. There we have it. And what else do we need? We need a, a slope for both equations. We need m sub t for our tangent line and m sub n for our normal line. And so we're going to take our first derivative, but before taking that first derivative, I'm going to rewrite this equation in what I call calculus friendly form. So it's going to be x, and this 1 over x is going to be plus x to the negative 1 power. And f prime of x is equal to the derivative of x is going to be 1, and then plus we multiply this negative 1 out front, and we have x to the negative 2 power, which is going to be 1 uh, minus 1 over x squared. And f prime of, of 1, which is going to be a slope or tangent line, is going to be 1 minus 1 over 1 squared, which equals 1 minus 1, or 0. So m sub t is equal to 0. OK, and this is going to be a crazy one, because I said negative reciprocal. There's not a negative reciprocal of a horizontal tangent line. So what is this going to be? Well, it's going to be an undefined line. This is going to be an x equals equation. So uh, what this does, if you understand what's going on, our slope of our tangent line is going to be y equals 2. And perpendicular to that, and this is going to be our tangent line equation. Tangent line. And what is going to be the slope of our normal line? x equals 1. That's our normal line. Kind of awkward, but that's what it is. I'll check to be sure. Let's see. Minus 1. I don't see any other way of, of doing this. So the uh, slope of, of that normal line is going to be undefined. So anyway, um, I invite you to go ahead and do these other problems, 2 and 4. Uh, they should be OK. I hope you learned something from this. Good luck, and thanks for viewing.